All right, we're ready to race Austrian Grand Prix here at the Red Bull Ring. And we're underway. Green flag is out. In the turn one, Ryan Butcher squeezes his way through. Dexter Black hangs on though, he gets it right back. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of hitting, a lot of banging. Pretty much everyone hits someone. Oh, does he get real tight? Having to go off track a little bit. Three wide. A little bit of a lock up there by one of the McLarens. Kip Silver Point. Brad Chaston, Tony Green. Green down to seven spots already from the start. Riley Houston up eight spots from the start. Around the outside, Blazy Vitar goes to fourth. Max Anderson is the leader. He'll lead the first lap. Riley Houston Jr. on pit road. The only one on pit road right now. Definitely picked up some damage from probably front wing damage. Yep, it's front wing damage on Houston Jr.'s car. Lazy Vitar, Josh King, Dexter Black, Riley Houston. Ryan Butcher, Kip Silverpoint, the 09, Chris Kyle, Brad Cheston. Dexter Black looks to the inside. Gonna try to take third. Not enough room. Right on board. Oh, big lockup by Josh King. Or, well, he hung on. And Dexter Black. Loses two spots, Houston and Ryan Butcher go around the outside. Ryan Butcher nearly going off the racetrack. Trying to make a pass. Someone's walked their tires over there. Lazy Vitar is the leader. Side by side battle for a second. Yellow, yellow, got a car spinning it. They were spun out. Brad Chesson in the 44. Let's take a look at the replay. Man, a lot of cars just uh, are on pit road right now. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay, that was crazy. Yeah, he, he got onto one of the bumps, onto the curb. Yeah, he lost the front wing. Whole front end just lift up, off into the air. And then did he, did he? I know Charles Kirby, he spun out on his own. Wow, that was insane. Still driving the thing. And now there's five cars on pit road. Oh, contact there. Oh, Oaks. Having a lock up. Having a stop from Nick Kennedy. Oh, well, well. right, four cars. Remember, got to ignore one of them. Riley Houston Jr. will pick up a couple spots from this. Both the Ferraris are in. And the Williams are in. Rear wing is gone. They put it back on Bouchard's car. Tony Green. Got new tires as well. He's out in the way. So two tall, the two tall Russells. Kip Silver Point. Max Anderson. Ryan Butcher. Your top five. Here comes Josh King. Around the outside he goes. And he takes the lead away from his teammate. Side by side there. Almost those those three wide. Lazy Vitar a little too hard. They'll drop the second. Yellow is out. Oh, got another one. That's a Renault car. There's Kyle to 27. City instant replay. Oh, did he hit the curb too? He might have. Oh, no. 
Oh, he didn't catch any air, but he did spin out. Falling back live here. Now Brad Chesson's on pit road. We're gonna ignore, ignore that. Another wild start. This is even more wilder. Lazy Vitar back to second. Ryan Butcher now up to third. Side by side, Kip Silver Point. Trying to retake third there on the outside line. Can't make it work. Ryan Butcher goes around the outside. And he takes second. Max Anderson is in third. Dexter Black. Kip Silverpoint, Blazey Vitar, Riley Houston. Now Raymond Fisher. Now Riley Houston. Another spin out. I saw another two cars going go around. Who is that? Was that uh, another replay here? Oh yeah, these three cars. Wow. Both the Red Bulls and the McLaren. 22 is Silverpoint. Uh, they just spun right out. That's all right. It's a wicked fast racetrack. These guys are pushing as hard as they can. Currently the fastest lap is uh, minute 15, 228. Don't know who that is though. Could just go through the field and find out. Back to our leader here. Ryan Butcher has now taken it. King and Anderson second, third now. That looks like a slow chaser. Oh, now Bouchard, a minute 14, 7, 2, 3. New fastest lap. Here goes another spinner. Possibly one of the Force India cars. These guys need to spread out a little bit. These guys are just going way, way too aggressive, way too crazy. It's, in, it's pure insanity. Oh, Blazy Vitar, front wing gone. He will need to pit, get a new one. Let him go, let him go. He doesn't let him go. Here, as for these two, no, oh, don't pinch. Josh King closing in on Ryan Butcher here. At 77 team, last season as King goes around the outside to retake the lead. They had a horrible season. I believe finished below the top 10. Ryan Butcher trying to fight back on the outside and he gets it right back. Oh, oh, and he spins! He spun himself out! While leading! Oh, this, he's gonna lose a lot of spots. That causes a jam up, the Red Bull. Don't know which one, though. Ah, Charles Kirby. Blaze Steve Vitar now on pit road. Costly mistake, but... We still got time, and it? Got someone lock up there, I don't think it was a spinner. Well, good that wasn't coming to the checkered flag. That would be horrible. Or near the end. So far, the most spots gained is by Nick Kennedy. 12 spots up. And Tony... No, that's... Yes, Tony Green. So far has lost the most, 16 spots lost. 
Almost a two second lead Josh King has. Looking for his second win of the season. Toro Rosso, uh, Joshua Rush, when he ran the Toro Rosso car last season, won the most races, won three, three races. However, was not a championship contender. Scored zero points in quite a bit of races. Uh, last season, Joshua Rush, who isn't racing this season. Hasn't racing for a while though. Dexter Black second, the Sauber car third. Yep, Sauber, that's the defending driver's champion. But last season's champion is not racing in the A class. Or in the B class, Aaron John Steele. He was a champion last season by winning only one race. He failed to score points in one race as well. That would have been two, but he got the fastest lap by Monza. Yeah, look back on the stats. Round the outside, Dexter Black takes the lead. And the 09 car for a second. And our pulsator is back to the front. Anderson and Houston, fourth and fifth. Kyle, sixth. Kennedy, several point. Fisher and Oaks. Oh, big luck up there. And there goes the 09 car around. Trying to find a free. Oh, both the Sauber cars. Now these guys are going way too fast going into that last turn. Ryan Butcher trying to make a move there. Oaks outside the racetrack. I think he can go there. Should be able to. Or maybe not. There is a There is a sausage over there or a turtle. Whichever one you want to call it. Those bumps right there. That yellow thing. That one too. Oaks have only scored the points in two races and both with the same finish, ninth. That's only worth two points, so he has four points. Four. Yeah, and the Salver, one of the Salver cars not only won the championship, but the other one finished last, last season. Hopefully that doesn't repeat and uh, Oaks looks to be the one. But right now he's in... 10th, so that's just one point. Possibly another spinner. Oh, it's Riley Houston. Oh, we're gonna jam into the 14 car, Nick Kennedy. And that's a uh, Josh King getting by. He's still in third as there's a huge jam up in the last turn. Nick Kennedy aggressively reversing, and there he goes. Now he goes. Now that dropped him all the way to 15th. Now 16th. Light contact there. Whoa. Take it easy now. Oaks is in eighth place. Now he has gained the most spots. Ten. Now going for seventh. Trying to finish better than eighth. At least don't try don't uh, finish last this season or any season. Ryan Butcher here in 8th place, Fisher, Houston. And Fisher loses a couple of spots, he drops back to 11. On his second race. Oh, another spinner. Oh, it's Ryan Butcher again. But not too much. Got a little help though. See the Williams here. Alexander Rowe. Now up to 11. He had the pit due to damage. And now he's just one spot outside of points. The others are really far back. Brad Cheston, he's closed back in. He's currently in 14th, but he's with the pack. Or you could say. Everyone's got DRS over here. Oh, and now Bayesian Bouchard has it. 
There's no chaser, there's Tony Green. Joshua Harrison in last. Anderson is back to the race lead. Dexter Black, Chris Cow, Josh King, Kip Silverpoint in the top five. Take it easy here. Dexter Black on the outside. Uh, yep. He was making a lot of ground, but he had too much. Too fast. He might lose second here. Yes, here comes Kyle on the inside. He's got to run. And he's going to get it. Pass complete. Tie with the most spots now. 11. Keep several points. There's the other Sauber. 6th, Oak 7th, Houston 8th. Kirby and Rowe, 9th, 9th and 10th. Five second lead here. The biggest the leader has gotten so far today. We'll see if Anderson can hold on. I don't know. He might be able to. Side by side, King on the outside to third. Now trying to take second. Kyle almost ran him up the road there. He hangs on. King around the outside, he makes the pass. Up to second he goes. Kip Silver Point going around. And as well as Stephen Oaks. Aggressively reversing again. Ryan Butcher on pit road. Oh, he has damage, probably front wing damage. That'll take him out of contention. A minute 13. 379 by Daddy Bouchard. So he'll get the one point for now. Of course, and everything not official until the end of the race. I think we're in for a wild one. Pretty obvious. That's how crazy things have been today. Crazy race. Anderson's got a nice comfortable lead. It does not have to be aggressive. Takes it nice and easy here. Three and a half around there. Four seconds back. Yeah, around a, around a five second lead here for Max Anderson. Take a look at these guys again. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Yes, yeah, Blazy Vitar back in the top ten. After having a pit. He does haven't really recovered. Ryan Butcher, Harrison, Green, Cheston, Kennedy, Snow Chaser, Oaks, Fisher Bouchard, Houston Jr. The bottom ten. Oh, yellow. Yellow through that sector. What happened? Palmer, there's a spinner. Oh, another yellow. No, it's Dexter Black. He has gone around. And oh, there goes Blazy Vitar and Bouchard. That stacks him back up. About to put a lead heating up soon. Under two seconds, Josh King. Not far at all. Coming to five laps to go. About six or five and a half or five point six laps. 
five, five, ten, eight, nine, down two, up nine, down eight, up one. I don't know who's gonna win this race. Here comes King, looking for his second win of the season. That'll be two straight races where a driver has picked up their second win. Here goes King. A very aggressive move on the outside. A little bit of a lock up there, but he keeps it going. It does not spin out. Bouchard still has the fastest lap, so he's still got that to fall back on to score a point. The guys are going at it back there. You can see a lot of position changing going on. And Chris Kyle has lost the rear wing of the race car. And now he's going to have to pit. That gets people uh, free position. Anyone else have to pit? Doesn't look like it. Here's Tony Green. He's currently in 16th now. But he's closer to the pack. Riding on board. Kennedy Fisher up ahead. Kennedy a little bit sideways. Fisher gets back in front. Trying to get a better drive off there as they use the curves all the way. Yellow up ahead, possibly another spinner. It's another Red Bull. Charles Kirby has gone around. Waiting for an opening. He backs it up. Oh, there goes Green. Now he spins. Oh, and he collides with Bouchard. King is up front, by the way. While we're reviewing the others. Anderson not giving up yet again. Josh King and Max Anderson, just like at the Hungaro ring. It's these two guys at it again. Here comes Anderson. Man, he just sends it in there as hard as he can. Around the outside, and there he goes. Costly mistake coming to three laps to go. That drops him back down to fourth, possibly even further back. Fifth now. Now it's up to the 09 car. Or will it be Riley Houston? I think this is the highest we've seen a Haas car so far this season. In third, in position for a podium finish. Here goes Houston. The 09, a little bit of a lock up there. Houston is now going to take the spot. And also will have DRS because he was behind in the detection zone. So he will have DRS scoot away from the 09 and possibly close in on Josh King as well. He'll definitely close in. He's up 12 spots so far. Yeah, he got a little bit of time. He can do it. Or will it be the 09. Anderson has dropped all the way to 16th. Both the Renault cars are running so good today. And it looks like they're not gonna, even going to score points. And just like that, their top car was just leading just about a few laps ago. And now, he's outside of top 10. Here they come, closing in on Josh King. Two laps to go. Riley Houston for Haas. The 9 the Sauber car. Oh, trying to chase down that Toro Rosso. Oh, yeah. You will not see these teams in the podium. Maybe by a chance, but realistically, no. Gonna make a pass. Looks to the inside. Make the pass quick. 
Don't drag race, Houston. Yep, gotta let her go. Riding on board here. Keep it steady. Different onboard view from Riley Houston. Don't know if they're a second back. Yeah, that's more than a second, it looks like. Yep. White flag is out one more time around. Kip Silver Point also closing in in fourth. Kip might deny Riley Houston a podium finish. Kip has won the Monaco Grand Prix this season. Going around the outside, Houston with the aggressive block. He really wants to get this one. Riley Houston gonna go for second. That looks like it's gonna be Josh King gonna be winning this race. Looks like he can't get there. Yeah, these guys will have to fight it out for second. Kip around the outside for third. Here they come, Josh King into the final turn. Checkered flag is waving. Win number two. Josh King is gonna win the Austrian Grand Prix. Riley Houston second, Kip Point third. And the 09 car in fourth. Alexander Rowe for Williams gets fifth. Snow Chaser sixth. The other Williams. Houston Jr. Ramian Fisher has the all oh, wreck. Oh, big impact. Max Anderson wings stuck underneath. Well, well, he'll still not finish any get any points for that unless he got the fastest lap, which I don't think he did. Chris Kyle still the only one to get around or but yeah let's finish out the session here close out the scoreboard or leaderboard but yeah wow what a wild one this was Josh King win number two for him Riley Houston in the uh, Haas his best finish got a second place finish Great run for them. They definitely needed that. Kip Silver Point for the McLaren. Gets third. Denies the 09 team their podium finish. Alexander on Ch Snow Chaser. They both had to make stops early in the race, but they came back and finished fifth and sixth. A great day for Williams. The other Haas car, Riley Houston Jr., a great day for the Haas team as well. Uh, Ravian Fisher for Red Bull. Uh, Bouchard gets ninth, so Ferrari does not leave. Uh, Red Bull or the Austrian Grand Prix without any points so they get two points at least and maybe a fast lap is also three maybe got to check Nick Kennedy for the second McLaren team they get 10th Charles Kirby 11th Brad Tristan and Ryan Butcher another bad day for the Mercedes team as they score no points once again Stepan Oaks another scoreless or uh, yeah, scoreless race so he'll remain at last uh, Blazy Vitar yeah he ran up front Near the, at the beginning, but got caught up in a crash, lost the front wing, could not recover, finishes 15th. Max Anderson led for a bit, and then he overshot the corner, and it cost him a lot of spots, finishes 16th. And the uh, Force India, Dexter Black, also running near the front, sat on pole too. And he finishes 17th. Tony Green, the other Ferrari, finishing 18th. Was making a small comeback, but then spun out again. Joshua Harrison, the second Force India team. So Force India, Renault, Mercedes, as Chris Cowell. He finishes last. So Renault, Force India, Mercedes. Three teams leave the Austrian Grand Prix without any points. I forgot what their next race is. But whatever it is, we'll see you there. Josh King, the winner today.